School districts on the High Plains shutting their door due to sickness. KMR Local 4's Judd Baker has who's taking time away from the classroom and how to keep your kids healthy. As COVID-19 cases continue to surge on the High Plains. I have to admit, I am a bit wary that we are back in this mess again with this virus. Area school districts are closing their doors due to sickness. San Jacinto, River Road, Bushland, Quana, McLean, and Plymouth Stinnett Phillips, all citing COVID-19 cases and other illnesses, along with excessive absences from school. This is the time of year that we get a lot of respiratory viruses to go around. Obviously, what's different this year and, and to some extent last year is that COVID is definitely here too. Texas Tech Physicians pediatrician Dr. Todd Bell saying case numbers in kids are rising. So we are definitely seeing more cases of coronavirus in children than what we saw a few months ago. Uh, we've seen just like we're seeing more cases in adults. It's blowing up a little bit right now. The last um, four days this week has been yeah really crazy. Canadian ISD Superintendent Lynn Pulliam saying their case numbers are significant with 40 new student and seven new staff cases this week. Their doors still open, but he says that could change. It's a, a balance, you know, that we have to have for us in order to keep our doors open, which we're pretty committed to doing, of having, you know, enough staff members, that ratio of staff members. If it does, you know, get to a point on any of our campuses where we don't feel like we can safely and responsibly conduct school for the day, then, you know, then we'll look at either closing uh, individual campus or campuses or, or even potentially closing, you know, the district down. And Dr. Bell says that the best way to keep students and staff healthy is for them to get a COVID and flu vaccine. Wear a mask, wash your hands, and just stay home if you're sick. Live in the studio, Judd Baker, KAMR Local 4 News. Mandy. Judd, thank you. We have a list of when each of those districts will be returning to the classroom over on our website, myhighplains.com.